Kafka without Zookeeper in itself is a very interesting. If you're coming directly to the to this video, I'll suggest you go to the theory part where I have explained how it is possible without Zookeeper to install and have the Kafka. So uh, just let's jump to the installation part. So all the setup and uh, um, the setup file that we downloaded in the previous video uh, from this location. Uh, from this location it is similar it's just that we have different set of commands for this one so kafka with kraf these are the steps that i have to do so let's go ahead and do this so moving to intellij id here so if you move to uh, config directory here there is a separate folder for kafka so just uh, close all these tabs broker.properties is there uh, similar some of the configurations are similar that we have seen previously uh, in when we were discussing with Jokeeper controller properties and server properties these things are there so there is no mention of Jokeeper here so these are the kraft specific only so let's see what the steps are there so these steps are for mac actually so if you go uh, let's try to do this on windows how it works so coming here so just uh, control c so that it is stop the this is a previous installation uh, jokeeper and kafka so now just clean this one and let me expand it a bit so that it is visible so kafka cluster.id mm. okay it is referring to bin directory but we need windows actually dot slash this one so yeah i think uh, this these command lines are for mac machines so on windows they are not working as expected but i we can get this work okay so what it is doing actually it is uh, calculating a kafka cluster id and this kafka cluster id is refer it is referring from here only okay so i can do that uh, i can calculate it run like uh, normally and then set it whatever wherever it is referring okay so let's see cls uh, when uh, windows and then uh, what is the command kafka storage windows windows inside that Kafka config Kafka storage dot bad it is there yeah storage dot bad and then command line I have to pass random UID argument I have to pass so if I hit it it will give us uh, some random ID it has given us the uh, this random ID so what is the next command next command is format log directory so this is the command line that i have to give here dot slash bin windows and kafka storage dot bat then format and then this is the dollar kafka cluster id so we have to pass what id we just created and then config file c config craft c dot slash config craft server.properties so this server.properties we also have to do one change before it is executed actually so coming here so we had created one data directory when we were installing with the jokeeper so let's delete it for now in this server.properties so look for the logs.dir so same change i have to do here as well so data just do it and then hit this Kafka unrecognized option it is saying unrecognized option so what is the problem cluster ID 
my fnc maybe it will uh, accept it in double quote okay there is my mistake uh, for mat there is hyphen t also i missed that Yeah. formatting this uh, data it is saying this version 3.4 so see this kafka is data folder is created meta properties so this is the id that it was changing and bootstrap checkpoint file is there so the next step is that we can start the uh, this uh, kafka server start directly so the notice here is that config file that we are referring now it is from kraf here this server dot properties okay so just clean this up and slash bin windows uh, kafka start server start this is the same bat file same file is there uh, just that we have to change the config kraft server.properties that is it so if we hit this it should start our kafka server we do not need jukeeper here registering this one controller all that log is coming okay so it is cannot invoke craft manager ap versions because the return value of server shared version app manager is null okay this is strange uh, it should have not come actually uh, i'll pause the video for some time and we'll look for the errors and see how we can fix it so we'll continue in a while so yeah coming back to this one so i posted this error that was coming here on stack overflow i looked around whether i can get the solution of this one i posted this on this stack overflow with the option i get got one answer actually it is not uh, kafka isn't tested on windows can you use wsl2 instead uh, wsl2 means you have to install the linux on windows itself so it is supported and tested on uh linux machine if you try on windows it will give uh, us error so for till now in this version i have not got the solution of this one how to start it but whenever i get it i'll uh, keep the thread updated how to fix this one but for now we have to live with with it that on windows it is not possible so just to show you the demo part i am going to jump into the uh jump into a mac machine and uh, show you uh, this in kraf mode how we can start it so this video is like uh, gone too long due to this one uh, but yeah it's it's good to see it because we have got this error right so let's jump to the mac machine quickly and see this startup so once it is started actually whether it is in kraft or jukeeper for clients producer clients and consumer clients it doesn't matter what you are running whether kraft or jukeeper it is going to work fine so just to show you the demo part i'm going to install this kraft on mac machine separately So the setup is same that we had on Windows machine. So I have uh, opened the same file on the uh, IntelliJ ID itself. If we go to the config kraf, so broker controller server dot properties inside server dot properties, I'll just do the same change that we did on Windows. So that, that we can see the uh, folders in here directly. So this is the only change that I have to make it. Even on the Mac, it is very quick to do. The same quick as same quick start guide i'm going to follow uh, kafka with kraft so just copy paste this one when it is executed if you want to see the output of this one just uh, try to print this no spaces it is just a random id okay so the next is uh, copy paste this second command that we had. It's formatted. So now we should uh, see that data folder here. So kraf meta dot properties. So this ID is here. WCTT. The similar same one, right? Uh, 
next command is directly we can go ahead and see this uh, next command is actually to start the server directly so if you see it will start the server for us uh, kafka yeah all the default properties you see right all the things are working properly here uh, everything just to make sure it is working fine quickly let me go ahead and create a topic put some message and do that we'll be doing these clis and all that later on also but look, uh, quickly just to make sure because this is we are in mac machine on this kraft board just wanted to quickly show you that other files you can see uh, combined logs and all that we'll be talking more about this one so next uh, next one is the creating a topic and doing all that stuff so just go ahead and copy this we'll talk more about these commands what things are there but for now just copy paste these things so that we have this topic created so topic it created if we, i want to see the listing of the topic how many topics are there in the system i can go ahead and list the topics by changing this bit of command uh, so quick start the name of the topic is uh, here my mistake this create should not be there uh, list should be there actually yeah you see uh, you can see this uh, i'm sorry a font is a bit uh, small here uh, you can see this uh, quick start events right it is coming here, right right down here okay so if i have to push some uh, event into this one uh, we, you can have the description command also also you can see these things so let's write some data into this one um, it is going to give us the console for producer which we can use i first message you can see i am typing something here my first this one so let's have consumer for this one where we can consume these events read these events open one more tab here like the console so you see consumer.sh topic and then quick start events is there so it is going to listen from quick start this is the flag uh, to show that it is going to read events from beginning and this is the bootstrap server local host 9092 where it is running so let's produce new events from here so something new yeah these new events are coming over here so you see all that new messages are read properly here and the respective log files is created you see the data kraft combined logs are there so i'll talk about more these folders uh, in immediately next video where we are covering the kafka cli okay so we have covered both kafka uh, installation on windows kafka installation on mac with jokeeper and without jokeeper i hope you found it useful uh, so see you in the next one when we are covering the cli part